Hi guys, today I'm your host, Adam, and we're here again, and today we're going to show you how to make a blue screen, a green screen effect. You might be able to see this right now. Yeah. Um, this is just a blue blanket. Um, we've had it for years. Yeah. You, the truth is, well, see, here, let's do some truth yeah. and rumor here. Um, it is? Okay. The truth is, well, see, the rumor is you got to spend a thousand dollars or more about just to get the screen and the software. The fact is, you can do that for free. Actually, all you need is a blue or green blanket, and there's different programs you can use that are free. You can even use Windows Movie Maker. <clears throat> now, I used to use this thing called Wax Debug Mode and you can just filter out whatever color is in the background that works but you might face some problems with publishing the video but that's your problem not mine but there's also Windows Movie Maker very simple very easy now it's also very easy to put the blue screen effect in you might not know but Windows doesn't want you to know this information. Neither does Microsoft or any of those hotshot companies. There is a secret code that you save as an XML document. And trust me, I'm going to leave a link to this file on my site so you can download it <clears throat> and put it in your hard drive. Now you're going to need to put it in a special place in your hard drive where I'll specify to you in a few minutes. So once that's done, you got the problem of edit. So great, you go, what do I do now? Well, you have to have a picture or a video that's going to be um, in the background, which will be very interesting. So let me take you into AV Studios and show you how that works. Come on. <coughs> Alright, so now you need ask, well, how do you make that blue screen effect? <clears throat> well, here's what you do. What you gotta do is take the code that I gave you for your charge. Don't worry, I'm not charging fees, I'm not making profit on it. And you're gonna want to paste it into a notepad document. Then you're gonna want to save it as bluescreen.xml .xml Now, also, <clears throat> there's another way to do it. If you go to my site and just download the whole folder, paste the folder without the zipped folder, just the folder with the file in it, paste it into my computer. <clears throat> You're going to paste it into your local disk, hard drive, you know, um, program files. Then you're going to go into... Movie Maker. It's not Windows Movie Maker, it's Movie Maker. <clears throat> then, you go into your shared folder. And then in the shared folder, if you don't have this, add on TFX. Add the folder in there. Okay, bye. Thanks. Alright, so, back to what I was saying about the, um, what you gotta do is, alright, so, take a picture and drag it onto the timeline. So I got this to see the fake picture. Then, grab a video. For example, how about... I'll grab this one. So it's importing and doing its crap. And so, what you're gonna need to do next, you're gonna need to pay real good attention, okay? It's kinda confusing, but you'll understand later, hopefully, for you. <clears throat> then drag that on the timeline. Then you want to make the picture approximately the same length as your video. Just that way it looks a lot, lot better. Obviously I'm not going to force you, but that's just my highly recommendation. Then you're going to drag the video and make it almost all the way into that picture. So, almost to the zero, but not quite. As far as it can go. So then, you're going to see right here is the fade effect. 
click the fade twice. Or no, do not click the fade twice. <clears throat> You're going to go into the video transitions and then your effect, which you had created earlier, will be in there. So you drag that down there, and then watch. In the background, you can see you can see my head there, and then in the background you see my nice picture. All right, thank you for watching. Um, I'll see you later. All right.